think authenticity is is a major part of, of how we pick songs for rock band. You know, we're really going for these authentic uh, sort of rock moments or, or, or rock songs that everyone identifies with with the entire band. The Who is a good example because they are, you know, just a great a great four piece band which fits our game exactly. Um, you know, they have a, a great drummer that everyone admires and great guitar. They have everything. People were really passionate about what they wanted. I mean, these these were sort of intense meetings. There's a lot of, that sucks and you're crazy. And, right. you know. Like, oh, we got to have that. I can't believe you don't want that, you know. And meanwhile, you're also trying to span a nice range, right? You want to go all the way from like 60s bands to 70s, 80s, and, you know, all the way up to today. And, and genres. We want to have, right. you know, some metal, some hard rock, some punk rock, some classic rock. We want to have all that kind of stuff. We really wanted to focus in on the on-disc songs to make sure we kind of really nailed those. Those were supposed to be, you know, really representing the core of what rock band is. On the disc, we're going to end up with a large percentage of the master recordings this time around, which is great. There's a certain real energy that happens when you're playing a live show. I mean, when you have four players all playing together in the same room, it is amazing how much that really simulates the band dynamic of, you know, maybe dealing with one guy that, that isn't so good and everybody, you know, rooting for him, but maybe at the same time being annoyed, you know, and, you know, getting band interactions, people getting mad at each other, people arguing about what songs they're going to play. It's like, that's, that's what it's like to be in a band. And it's so, <laughs> it's so exciting to see that really mimicked in a video game. That's right, even the politics. Yeah, exactly.